And despite what you say, Minister, it goes on in uh, the, um, Chief Justice Durham in our, our conclusion says, on applying the correct test to the material published by the Minister, I conclude that there was a clear disregard, a clear disregard by the respondents of the McKenna principles. The materials published by the Minister was not fair, was not equal, was not impartial or neutral. And consequently, I would allow the appeal on the second issue also. Oh, could Minister, I question, please? this is a damning indictment by the most senior judicial figure in our land on your role in relation to this referendum. And can I ask four relevant questions and, per and direct questions, and perhaps you'll answer them directly back to me. Who took the decision to publish this booklet? Who took the decision to hive off 1.1 million that should have been allocated to the Independent Referendum Commission? Who took that decision? And who signed off on the content of this booklet? Because shortly after the decision, there was uh, uh, an effort by certain ministers to dump on the AG. But by looking at this, um, the, 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 that's not the case. By looking at, at, at the reply uh, by one of the judges, that's not the case. And can I ask also, Minister, what are the cost implications to the state? Apart from the 1.1 million, what's the cost implications to the state? And ultimately, Minister, who is going to take responsibility for this? And who is going to be held accountable uh, for this deplorable situation? Thank you, Deputy Minister. Yes, thank you. Can I uh, say, Deputy, uh, and I want to remind you uh, that the government is defending a petition in the High Court and recognising the separation of Parliament and Judiciary. I have no wish and I will not prejudice the upcoming hearings and I'm sure my parliamentary colleagues here will respect and accept the position indeed that I'm in. In regard to your comments, let me quote to you what Justice Denham also said. In all the circumstances of this case, as have appeared before the Court, I am satisfied that the respondents acted in a bona fide manner. Justice Fennelly, I have no doubt that this was done bona fide and with consciousness that the decision in the McKenna had to be respected. And Justice O'Donnell, who says, it should be said that the plaintiff, the plaintiff made it clear that he was prepared to accept that the department had acted in good faith in preparing the campaign and did not challenge it on that ground. I would refer those findings from the Supreme Court judges to you also, Deputy. Thank you, De Minister. Thank you. Very briefly. It's Very briefly, Minister. Almost. It's considering uh, in the verdict of Mr Justice O'Donnell, who points that some of the language used in this so-called independent literature was also the same language used uh, in your speech to the launch of the Fine Gael uh, advocating a yes vote. And you were quite rightly entitled as a Fine Gael parliamentarian, as I was as a Fianna Fáil parliamentarian, to uh, advocate a yes vote. But why is it the same language, and if there was bona fides uh, in, in terms of uh, the wording used in this independent booklet, why did you use the exact same language in a Fine Gael, uh, document as you did in an independent document? Thank you, I think myself, Minister, this was a political stunt on your own part. That's what I, my own this personal opinion. Question time. Final, final reply, it certainly was not. And in fact, the highest court in the land disagrees with what you have to say and accepts the bona fides of myself and my department in relation to this. 